Since the Navy's long-awaited report on the USS Mahan attack is in, and it places much blame on security mistakes. The investigation was concluded last October, but the report didn't come out until last night. Mike Gooding tells us it focused primarily upon the actions which took place, or more accurately, didn't take place at Naval Station Norfolk's Gate 5. Well, that, uh, that is right, uh, Janet and Regina. Uh, that is where the assailant Jeffrey Savage did gain access to the base when the guards didn't even ask for an ID, with the report noting that he passed unchecked through layers of security. Uh, they violated several policies on how to handle a situation like that. They just fumbled it. Retired Navy Captain Joe Bouchard talking about the watch standers at Naval Station Norfolk's Gate 5. Bouchard was commanding officer of the world's largest naval base from 2000 to 2003, concurrently with the USS Cole and 9-11 attacks. He says the gate guard's performance that night was an abject failure. The Navy's 144-page report on the USS Mahan attack outlines in great detail the many watch-standing failures that were the primary contributing factors. And when it was all over, Master at Arms 2nd Class Mark Mayo, who was cited for exceptionally brave actions, was dead. The report concludes senior personnel have developed watch routines that place only junior personnel on watch at night. The problem was exacerbated by a significant decline in funding and manning. One thing the report never gets to is the why. Why the intruder Jeffrey Savage did what he did, noting Mr. Savage's motives and intent that evening are both unknown and will likely remain unknown and outside the scope of this inquiry. The fact that the report couldn't determine the motive, unfortunate. I'm sure Petty Officer Mayo's family would like to know that, uh, but uh, the report focuses on enhancements to security that apply regardless of the motive of an intruder. And all five guards were initially removed from duty. Four have since uh, returned after refresher training. The captain of the watch, who was not named, remains separated from law enforcement duties and is not allowed to carry a weapon. Now, Senator Tim Kaine weighed in on the report today, saying that the security lapses noted are extremely troubling. We have the full report on our website, 13newsnow.com. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.